Last time, we celebrated the legacy of St. Ignatius of Loyola through the lives of some of the Jesuit saints, heroic in their passion for mission and love for the Church through catechism and defense of Catholic doctrine. Today, let us add more to our list by remembering the Jesuits who, like St. Ignatius, found God literally in all things and fields, in astronomy, in poetry, and other secular pursuits. The calendar being used today, practically by the whole world, is the Gregorian calendar, which was instituted by Pope Gregory XIII through the papal bull Inter Gravissimas in 1582. It reformed the Julian calendar. Among the members of the team that checked the calendar's accuracy through astronomy and arithmetic was a Jesuit. Father Christopher Clavius, an erudite professor of mathematics at the Roman College from 1564 to 1612. We are still using the same calendar. Now, in high school or in college, you may have learned about the Big Bang Theory, which posits that the observable universe of galaxies started with one big explosion. This theory was articulated in 1931 in a paper written by, yes, a Jesuit priest, Georges Lemaitre. He was a cosmologist and professor at the Catholic University of Louvain. In the 1960s, he served as president of the Pontifical Academy of the Sciences. Remembering these Jesuits makes me remember this council of St. Ignatius. Aside from their outstanding contribution in the sciences, some Jesuits also excelled in the arts. Arguably, the most popular is the poet Gerard Manley Hopkins. He was a Protestant who became a Roman Catholic in 1866. He then studied to become a priest of the Society of Jesus and was ordained in 1877. His poems, although posthumously published, proved to have influenced some leading poets of the 20th century, like T.S. Eliot and W.H. Auden. Now, one of the teachings of St. Ignatius is to encounter God's presence in every moment, to become aware of His beauty and perceive His actions in everything. I think Father Hopkins masterfully echoes this in his poem. This concludes our series on St. Ignatius and the Society of Jesus. This Ignatian year, I invite you to read about him and the people who follow these footsteps in the Compania. They are priests and lay brothers. They are missionaries. They are martyrs. They are scientists. They are artists. And so much more. Their life, ministry, and interests show us that there are countless ways to love God and serve the Church and humanity. Saint Ignatius, pray for us. <music>